Hey guys, it's me, Ginger Mayhem, with the family, Miss Kitty and Pixel back there. Before we get this episode going, if you find yourself enjoying the video, like and subscribe. Really appreciate it, helps out a lot. Thanks. What's going on guys over here for another Saturdays are for the boys. And just with my cousin today, my buddy, he isn't on, he's off doing whatever with his girlfriend being lame we're over here at the castle so i'm going to give you guys some updates on what we did i think this looks the same as before um we got that going on we got a little farm over there uh, we finished the bridge which i think you knew about we made a cool little dock that you pull over and that'll actually rise up for your boat go in here we got a table took a bunch of junk out say hi we got a bunch of librarians. Hey guys, it's Jason <laughs> here, and I'm going to... Cleared that out up there. Built a cow crusher, a sugar cane farm, and bamboo farm over here. The cane's being sugared. The bam is being booed. The cows are being crushed. And we finished this giant wall up to here. That's part of what he dug up, but I think I'm going to fill that back in so you can't see it. And did that. Got all this done. We can run on top of it, and we leveled this out a bunch. Got to come two down. Two blocks down, though. So we're going to build a giant castle on top of this, and we need it to be the entryway here. Painted a tree there. Looks cool. Cool tree. Some out here. We're cool like that. Gotta look fancy, you know. And then part of what we're going to be doing today is with that right there. And that is where that zombie spawner is we have, and we're going to make a zombie spawner together. But we need a silk touch pick to get some ice, even though I don't necessarily know if we need ice. The video I watched says he uses it, but he says there's no actual proof, and I've built it without and with, and I didn't really notice the difference, but whatever, you know, we're here. We're gonna need a soul sand pro show. So I'm gonna build this here a uh, zombie farm. Um what do we need? Soul sand, we need two buckets of water. We got some milk in there if you want it. You want some milk? Milkers. Mama milk. Um I'm trying to think what else we need. Got my scaffolding, which we're gonna need uh it's pretty far underground, right? We're only drop we only dropping twenty two blocks, so Yeah, it's fairly far. We need two slabs. Why does this wheat take so long to grow? Because you don't got bees pollinating, my dude. It's not even a thing. It is. Not even a thing. A bees in the trap. Need to build an iron farm, too. Yep. 360. You're the one who said you wanted to build it on a video, so. Yeah, in video. Oh, seriously. Oh, kelp. We need a need kelp. Kelp, kelp, kelp. We got some over on that the other base, I know for sure. We need 22s of it. We got plenty. Where are all the boats at? Uh, I don't know where they're all at, but I have one of them. Oh, we lost the other two. The contraption ate them. No, no, you lost them. Under your guidance. Uh, no. When you were trying to show me how to operate it. No, because yeah, I've operated it many times, and you I use it. There. You messed it up, and then you took the other boat and did the same thing again. Yeah, well, you should have told me to do it right. I mean, I still got my boat, so I don't care what you did with yours. Yeah, that's actually my boat. I actually broke yours and belongs. Prove it. Uh, if you actually look on the bottom of it, I wrote my name on it. Prove it. It. I just told you. On the bottom it. of it. Prove hey, it. I found your boat. I mean, my boat. Hi, sheep. There's a full iron pick over here. In the nice. cow pen. Oh, leave that over here so if we're over here, we can sleep. Oh my gosh. Why does that have to be a gray bed? Leave an ugly bed over here. We'll make a different bed and then put it over there. I made the gray bed. No, you didn't. I literally made it and put it there because there was no beds over here. I guess we'll have to go diving. No, it's out front of the base. There's all kinds of kelp, like in the water. 
dive one in. Oh, I broke that wheat the other day. That's probably why it's taking forever to grow. Because it's probably just now back in rendering distance. I know, but I've been over here for two day cycles. Dancy time. It's my party. I can cry if I want to. 360. Cry if I want to. Melon. Weak attack, nerd. Ooh. Wow, would you break that, that boar? Hey, here's some wheat. Broke my pumpkin, dude. Had to be done. My game's being laggy. It's like ripping me. What are you doing? Why? Way to freaking break the wheat farm, I just too. told you my game's being laggy. Yeah. You don't have to believe me. It doesn't change the fact. It's a sad day when our snowmen die. Skelly boys. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure some of them escaped because there was paths of snow. I made one here, too. outside of it to see what would happen. They supposedly like go track down mobs or something. I just didn't have the heart to tell you that the other day. I mean, I didn't really care either way. We don't even have a castle. We have a giant. We have a square on the side of the hill. You're so nice. For no reason. For no reason. Okay, we're down here, and I think I got everything I need. Oh, I got 12 iron ore, that balloon left down here. I think I'll need 22, no, you'll need more than 22. I got a stack and a half of signs. Um, 22 kelp, two buckets of water, a soul sand, 14 ladders, got scaffolding. I think that, I think that covers the bases, team. Dang, I straight up just one hit those cows, dude. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. Alright, so what we did here is we cleaned up, cleaned, cleared out a 9x9 nine nine area, pretty sure. Yep, 9x9, nine nine, and I think it's Ooh, level five 30 high. now. I can enchant another piece of armor. 5 high, and then we're going to place a slab on top of it because mobs can't spawn on it, and we're going to place a slab underneath it. Alright, and then now we're going to dig four down from underneath this this whole width here that's why i brought these ladders for our doorway here we're gonna put ladders all the way down so after we dig this down we're gonna dig it big dig a trench like i was telling you and we have to decide where we want that trench to run out so our base is back that way so we might put the trench on this side because we have to dig up and then it's gonna come three over and we're gonna drop them right in here probably into right this trap bed. Four down. Yay! Math hard. We smart. You can also uh, oh. like decorate this room if you want, and you can make like the outside wall, like where the zon like this wall where you're gonna be standing. Church to Alcapoco. Glass, and then you can make like the tubes that they go up and down glass if you want to, just to be like cool and edgy. But I'm not, I don't want to see in here, I don't really care that much, honestly. And this is just so when the zombies spawn, they fall. But we put the slab on top so that way they don't spawn on it. Because if there's a mob standing on top of the spawner, it actually won't spawn. It'll be like, okay, there's an entity here, no need for any more. With those two buckets we brought, I'm actually going to climb back up our ladder and we have this dug out. And we're going to build a little infinite water source right outside. And make sure you keep this room lit. Definitely needs to be well lit because they will spawn in here if it's not. Even though we have the spawner blocked off. Excuse my hand. What the hell does that even mean? 
Excuse my hand. Stop. Don't touch me there. Oh, okay. Sorry. That is my for money square. It'd be nice if we could find a skelly boy spawner. Yep. I'd no like to find two zombies. What? So what do we find? Two zombies? Oh, yeah. Which I don't think I'd all belong to the second one. I'm not sure which one's closer, but I'm doing the one we already got mapped out. We're going to have to build a creeper farm here soon. Yes. If we get a light. Alright, we got this dug out where we want it. As you can see, one, that block, three underneath it. One, two, three, which is technically four if you count the thing. Perfect for where we want. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to make this uh, water source I was telling you about. Just so we can use it to fill in in the future inside of our freaking zombie spawner. Sometimes I just brain no work good when do stuff. Alright, so we got that. We're not going to need it yet, but it's just wanted to have it ready so let's go ahead and get our tunnel side ready we're gonna build a little ditch and i think we want it right here we're gonna build it five long because water can only run eight so we have to drop it down so we're gonna actually come down two after here and we're just gonna make the last four two deep and then we're going to dig this last row out here three and put break this one out here and you can leave that block there and we're going to actually get water and we're going to put it right there for now the yoda so, if you guys want to or you haven't found it yet or whatever the soul sand you haven't been to the nether but you found this sucker and you want to get it going you can do the water like i have here and then line this wall right here all with water going this way which is eight wide so it'll come right here it'll push them to the edge they go beep, fall down it'll be great awesome and you can actually make this like knock this block out here and put a slab and then stand on the other side if it's cleared out and you can clear it out and you can hit them but we're not going to do that because what we're going to do is we're going to bring them up with a water elevator and they're going to get pushed over and they're gonna fall down and it's gonna drop them down to one heart and we're gonna be able to one hit them and that's the better option if you can it's gonna be hard to do later so i would recommend not doing it later and just waiting and doing it right now going to the nether and getting some soul sand because that's really all you need to do this okay so actually what i did here which i forgot to include for some reason i don't really know why um is i dug that this one higher and then I actually took it three more back so then what we're going to do is right here, we're going to dig up and we're going to come right here. Break our torch we put in. We're going to re-block this wall off. Just want to make sure that hell? we had it. And then now we're going to dig up 22. Oh, the ramp broke. What the hell? So we are at block 30, right? So we're going to dig up to 52. Yours will be different because your feet aren't going to be on 30. Well, they might be. You might look out. They might be. So now we're going to dig up. And when we dig this up, you're going to dig it too wide. You're going to dig it this one and this one. And that's why we have this water here in case we fall off on our way up. While we're up at the top, we have a safe place to land. So you're welcome. So if you're digging up like I am right here and this is exposed, you're going to have to fill it in. And actually, we're going to change our plan because we want to drop the zombies into this room. So what we're going to do is actually check our feet right here. And we're on 34. We're actually going to go up to 56 because that'll drop it down onto 34. 56 minus 22, 34. Basic math added again. Your boy's a genius.
Alrighty, we are up here on 56, and now what we're going to do is we're going to come over one more, like so. Actually, let's go two more over. And this is going to drop us down where we want it. And that right down there is our bottle of water. Bottle of water. <laughs> where we dumped our bucket of water. As you see, I filled everything in. And now we're going to need our signs and we're going to need our water bucket. And that's why we brought this junk. All right. So now what we're going to do time, dude. is dig back down dangerously because we live on the edge to 34, our lucky number. And we're here and I'm going to sleep because it's nighttime. All right. So we're to zombie ground. Don't know where they're at. Somewhere in our giant cavern. Now that we got this set up, let's move our bed. All right, so this is where we drop down at, right? I plugged in with cobblestone, but I needed a stone slab, which you're going to need too. And I brought some stone brick back because this stuff is going to be seen out here in our little grind room. So I'm going to make it look pretty real quick for us. So I'm just a pretty boy. I think we brought a thousand iron picks. Now is definitely oops, the time to do this if you want it to look pretty. Now we're going to place our slab here. And we're doing this because the zombies are going to fall down and those little baby zombies, they can fit through that. They can jump on that and they can fit through. So now we're safe. We brought protection. Because we can see this, we're going to make that look pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I'll probably just make the rest that we can see on the outside look pretty too. Because I don't know. Because that's just how I roll. I like to look at stone bricks way too much in this game for some reason. I guess this part technically you can do at a later date. Because zombies don't actually go through here. So I'll... Make sure we got the other side safe. Which is just this one. Yep. And now we're actually going to go back in and we're going to go back up to the top. Oh, that's right. On time. So this one, you'll have to dig out and replace. But that's how we have to do it. I'm sorry. All right, we're up at the top again, and what we're gonna do on this side right here, we're going to place the sign, and that's the side where our armor's gonna fall down. We do not want water going on that side, and that's gonna prevent it. Now we're gonna take this bucket of water, we're gonna place it right here, and it should run that way, beautiful. And then, if we place it here, the, Snidey yep, time. it's gonna move it that way, and then we're going to break our way down from here, and place a sign on every one as we go down. Mm. But as you heard, I got to sleep. So this is just an easy way to get down and back up. Now we have this wonderful way back up. And what we're going to do is just be careful not to drown or anything. Place a sign. Done. Come down. Place a sign. Done. You can actually place multiple down. And you can come right like this if you get it right. And you can catch a breath. And so now we can dig down too. And then do this the rest of the way down all the way to the very bottom. And we messed up. So now we have to dig our way back up. Try your darndest not to do that.
which I guess we can do this. We can place signs down here, skip this step on our way up. And we got one sign left, so we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, six more. This one does not get one. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we need six more. Five more. We have one in our inventory. All right, guys, we're back over here at the last of the signs we need. these in here then I actually need one dirt say and we're gonna place it right here do this boom now I'm gonna take this and just stack our kelp up thought it auto stack but I guess it doesn't have to do it like this and we're doing this all the way up because that's gonna turn all these into water source blocks. Oh, we didn't go up 22 from this side. That's right, we went up 22 from where they dropped. So we need four more. I only brought 24, but luckily I have some outside here. You should always bring extra of everything. That's something I've learned by doing all this junk. We got this here. Now we're gonna go all the way down. Now there are water sources. And we are going to break this piece out. And we're going to replace it with our soul sand. And it's going to turn it into an elevator. It's going to suck stuff up. See? Shoom! Amazing. Pushes it right over down there. We want them to drop. Fall back in our water pit. And now this blue ice my cousin Supply dropped me. We're gonna place over this water and it's super slippery. It helps the zombies fall, maybe. Not really 100% sure if it actually does, but we believe it does around here because it's slippery. Okay, so let's put this other junk up we do not need. We have this for decoration and that's what we need here. And now what we're gonna do is fill these up, come in here, and we place our one here. Stink to dink, it's gonna go. Beautiful. All right, grab one more. And then we're going to place one on every other on this wall, and then we can come back like this, and that creates yeah, a got water tinkle. source. And like so, like so. And now they'll spawn, come spawn down here. This water will push them over here slowly. It works, I promise. Fall over, slowly push them over there, and they get sucked up. So now is the speed run part. We have to knock all our torches out, get to our ladder, break it out, which we should be able to break this bottom one. Climb up it and break it out and close this off so they can spawn. bust this out because normally you don't have that above it my cousin did that and as you can see they're spawning away grab our stone bricks close her up now we have a full-fledged zombie spawner all right guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you can hear my cousin in the background i hope you enjoy what we got going on here a cool little multiplayer server i enjoy sharing it i enjoy making it with you guys and with my friends and cousin so stay tuned for more, like and subscribe, thanks, peace.